Dream to become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein? Learn C++. From Professor Saborno Isaac Barry. With a basic program, but as you can see, uh, there is really nothing in the command section. So what are we really going to do today? Well, what we're going to do is learn how to use a parameter. So last time we learned where to put a function. So let's define a function first. Something. Uh, so something. Let's say oh oh something. And then count time. And this is really more for a review of what we did last time. So now we can use void something here and let's see what we get. We should get home and as you can see we will hunt. Well it goes from top to bottom or void is unnecessary. Maybe it's because I made, ah, yes. So I accidentally put void in the command section. If you put void in a command section to try to define a function in the command section, the, uh, the computer will think, oh, a uh, void in this section means just delete the function's command altogether. So don't do void there. That was my mistake. Just discover something new. Anyways. This is more of a review of what we did yesterday. But today, let's say I want an age calculator to see how old you are right now. It may not be precise because it's definitely not right up to the months or days even, but it's going to be at least on the scale of years. So void something in here, or I could call this Fourth year. So double fourth year. So now something. Hmm, let's see. No mass. Um, so double birth year, but we haven't given birth year a value yet. So let's ask the user what their birth year is. So first I'm just going to enter birth year in year box. So it will print out the birth year and then sin birth year. So this isn't much of a birth calculator yet. It just spits out what your birth year is. Ooh, can I avoid this again? Hmm. Let's see, avoid something? Okay. Something birth there. Oh! Uh, uh. When were you born? I forgot to type anything in. <laughs> were you born? So, never mind what just happened there. Hmm. I know that it's 2012, but I'm that the right 1969 was amazing. Oh, um, it should. Oh, it just sends that in, and it doesn't count out your birth year. So count. I'm gonna make that as something in the function. So birth count. You were born. Wait, why am I putting this outside the quotation mark? You were born in. Okay, and then we can make space here for the variable birth year.
and then okay so now it should print out when you were born so I put it in it spits it out you were born in 2012 but it doesn't tell me what my age is so how old you stupid so how old is Rodriguez I know you just came back from taking the test Hope you got a good score, but anyways, I haven't checked yet. And anyways, have you were born in birth Thank year? Thank you, both. Okay, so, um, birth year, actually, isn't what we're trying to go for here. We're uh, trying to calculate some sort of age calculator, so, years old. So, I'm going to make a variable called years old that is equal to the current year minus your birth year. So now, um, we're going to, and then I'm going to put this And then slash n. So you are now. Um, what button am I not pressing? Years old. Year old. I put year old. So years old. Years old. Wait a second. Is this undeclared? Undeclared identifier. Of course. So, if it's an undeclared identifier, what can we do? will work. I mean, probably won't, but wait a second. Maybe, 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 just maybe, I don't have to use this. I can just put this in something years old. Ah, uh, no. So I actually have to define this variable, but that's fine. Years old. Okay, so 2012, this won't work. Oh, you're born in a. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Turn out soon. Okay, so birth there is now apparently equal to 2020 minus the current year. Uh, wait, 2020 minus my birth year. Wait, you were born in 8, so that's supposed to be my 8. So, uh, the year, my birth year, is, is supposed to be my years old. Oh. Hmm. I am now... Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, zero years old. Oh, no. But the thing is, this isn't an experiment I made. Uh, using user inputs. This is just an experiment I made using user inputs. Wait a second. Int birth year. I see the problem. Probably. I don't know if I see the problem, but I probably don't, but let's see if this will work. 2012. Yeah, this doesn't work. But, I want to show you something. So, um, let's delete all this crap. 
crap, crap, just a huge paragraph, a huge chunk of crap, and then let's actually try something. So, void, hmm, something, IBK, and then count, and now, like the food and then what the and then food and then I'm going to make it so that food um food is equal to pie wait no equal yeah, this doesn't work. Hmm. So, what we can do, oh, yeah. So, it's food. Food. So, what we can do is we can define food beforehand. Oh, food is an integer in this case. It should be a group of characters, right? I believe so. Food equals to pi. Hmm. Pi expected. Maybe it's stir. Hmm. So, but anyway. Okay. But parameters are things in parentheses you can use. function for call to really right. I hope this works at least. Whoa whoa whoa. So it's not saying anything. Even oh I'm voiding it. But if I void it then if I don't void it then it's not valid somehow. No matching function will call. This is weird. Seems like this is unescapable, this void thing. Well, I don't, I mean, this won't run as expected because it's voiding. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.